Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, so let me give you my interpretation and what I think of the whole Kyrie Irving, uh, Steve Nash situation. Now, apparently, you're hearing, you know, basically, there was an incident where basically Kyrie Irving disrespected Steve Nash in his own house by telling him that he need to give back those two MVP trophies that he won uh, back to back. Which, by the way, I may get my take on that in a separate video. But let me tell you the ramification if, in fact, that did happen with Steve Nash and Kyrie Irving. Well, if Steve Nash let Kyrie Irving come into his house and disrespect him in his own house, and he didn't, at the very least, tell him to get the fuck out of his house, he already right then and there lost the team because at the end of the day, they're not going to respect him. Because if he doesn't lay down the law in his own house, how the hell he going to try to lay down the law and be a coach? One thing about being a coach is you try to earn the respect of your players. And if your players don't respect you, they're not going to play for you. And that's just the bottom line, whether you like it or not. And you just have to keep it a buck. So if Steve Nash didn't, didn't check Kyrie Irving, then Kyrie Irving won instantly. And he lost the team. And based off how they performed in the playoffs, it seemed to be some merit to what people were saying that Kyrie Irving um, probably did say that to him. Now, look, as far as Kyrie Irving go, you know, there's a question or there's questions about Kyrie Irving's personality. Now, like I said, I supported him on his stance, you know, about not wanting to take the potion because I felt that that should have been a personal choice and not nobody deciding for you and somebody trying to tell you what to put in your body when they don't know how your body going to react and they can holler about it. But I, I'm not going, I'm not going to dig deep into that because then next thing, you know, so, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, Kyrie Urban, uh, he stood, you know, 10 toes tall you know what I'm saying? He went knee deep and shit. He took the criticism. He took everything. So I do respect him for that. You know, but as far as Steve Nash go, like I said, if Steve Nash allowed that to happen, then that's on him. And like I said before, he probably went through the season with his players not respecting him. And at times it showed based off their performance. So Gaining the respect of your players means a whole lot. And that's just real talk. And if he didn't have the respect of his players, then you know what I'm saying? Um, they're not going to play for you. They're not going to go to war for you. They're not going to fight for you. So if that indeed is what happened, then it is what it is. There you go. But anyway, I just wanted to give my opinion on the situation um, that's it. That's all. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.